right guys and girls, uh, today in the art room we're going to learn about primary colours. This is our, one of our colour wheels. So our primary colours are red, yellow and blue. With these three colours we can make all other colours with the exception of white. Today for our activity, we're going to be using food dye. So you might have some of this food dye in your pantry for baking cakes and icing. Um, if not, that's okay. You can watch your video today. Um, but if you do have these supplies at home, give it a go. See if yours turn out uh, the same as mine. So we need food dye, red, blue, and yellow. We need six clear, cups. They don't have to be glass but you need to be able to see through them for best results. We also need some water, something to stir our cups with. Now you don't need one of these but I like to use them. This is a plastic syringe um, or one of our little eye droppers and it's a really good idea if you do have these to use them to um, just take out one little drop of food dye because if you use too much of the one colour it'll turn um, the, the colours really dark and murky and you won't actually be able to see what colour they are. So make sure um, if you do have a little eyedropper or something just to drop one little drop in, it's going to make it um, a lot easier. So, let's fill up our glasses. filling up all of our cups, it's time to add in our food dye. So for this activity, we're only going to put the food dye to start in every second glass because we don't want all the colours mixing. With these three colours, you can make other colours. So I'm going to use my little eyedropper and just get a little tiny little amount. I don't want too much in there. Now for this, I'm only putting one little drop in and I give it a stir and if I need more I can always add more. One is plenty. So I put the rest in and I give this a little rinse out. I skip this cup and I come back to this next cup. For this next one I'm going to be putting in the colour blue. Make sure you're screwing on the lids as you work between. You might even need some tissues. Because you can make a little bit of a mess. All right. So our next cup here, remember I'm skipping this one. Our next cup is going to be blue. So I'm going to use my little syringe again. And remember, you only need one little drop. You don't need a lot. Don't put a lot on. You don't need it. So that's blue. I'm going to rinse this one out. Okay, screw your lid on. And our final colour is yellow. Skip this one and we're going to put yellow in the last one. Remember, how many drops do you put in? Just one. One drop, give it a stir. You don't need a lot. Remember in between them to put your lid back on, otherwise you'll probably tip it everywhere. Give your space a little bit of a wipe down because it does get messy. Now, these are our primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. Now we're gonna look at our secondary colors our colours that can be created by mixing two, just two of these primary colours. When we look at our colour wheel, we're going to start with the colour red. Red and yellow are two primary colours. When we mix these two together, we make orange. So red and yellow make orange. So let's have a little bit of a look at this activity. But starting with just these two, red 
and yellow, what colour am I going to make? You're right, we're going to make the colour orange. So I get my little food dyes, I get my red and I get my yellow and I add our little food droppers. So I start with the yellow. Remember how many drops am I using? Just one. I'm then using my dropper. I'm adding one drop. Put replace our lids again. We're going to use our, our little um, spoon. Give it a stir. What colour have we made? Orange. So red and yellow make orange. Now we're going to look at two other primary colours. We're starting here at yellow. And we're going to move down here to blue. Yellow and blue make green. So if I've got my two primary colours here, yellow and blue, what colour am I going to make when I mix them together? Green? Let's find out. You need your blue food dye and your yellow food dye. Get your little syringe or your eyedropper. Remember you only need one drop of each. Give it a stir. Wow, you were right. It is green. So I've mixed yellow and blue and I've made our secondary colour green. Now for our final colour, I'm going to need two more primary colours. I'm going to use red and blue. So we've already made two secondary colours, orange from red and yellow, and green from blue and yellow. What colour do you think we can make using red and blue? Let's find out. I'm going to use my eyedropper again and my little syringe. You only need one drop of each. Don't put too much in. I've added one drop of blue and I need one drop of red. What colour do you think it can make? Stir it. Wow, it's purple. Some people call this colour violet as well. So I've got blue and purple. This is our colour spectrum. So if I start with red, then orange, yellow, green, blue, and I finish with the colour violet. These are our primary and secondary colours. Thanks, have a good day. Bye.